Finger Touch Overview. You can use your finger the same way you use the interactive pens. To click on links, to double click to open applications, to choose tools for drawing and erasing, to scroll through documents and web pages, to select, move, and resize objects. First, using your finger, click on the icon on your dock. When the toolbar opens, select Desktop Annotation. You can then use your finger to select the mouse button and open another application, such as Internet Browser. When the program opens, you can use your finger to scroll or advance through the web page. If you want to click on a link, you can do so by double tapping on the desired link. Make sure that your double click motion is deliberate, fully touching, and disengaging from the board in a double tap. When the new page appears, you can annotate on it by selecting the pen tool. You can also select line thickness and color. Using your finger, you can then draw directly over the projected content. As a matter of fact, up to six fingers can draw on the image at the same time. However, all the drawing will appear in the same color. This is because the projector cannot discern between one person's finger and another's. To scroll, Touch the board and drag your finger in a downward motion to advance the page. Drag in an upward motion to return to the top of the page. You can also use the tools to draw objects and shapes. Touch the Shape tool. Select a shape, filled or unfilled. Touch the board and drag your finger to draw the shape. Then release. If you want to resize the image, touch it so that it is highlighted. Then using two fingers, you can expand the object by moving outward, or reduce the object by pinching or moving your fingers together. You can use your fingers to show a PowerPoint presentation by opening the PowerPoint application and file you wish to show. When you tap on Presentation icon, the slideshow will begin. You will notice that the standard toolbar disappears and an abbreviated version of Easy Interactive Tools appears allowing you to see the slides more easily, as well as advance the slides and annotate directly on them. To advance slides, you tap on the down arrow. To go back, tap on the up arrow. If you wish to annotate on them, tap the pen tool and begin making your notes. When you are ready for the next slide, touch the down arrow. You will notice the annotations go away, but if you arrow up to go back to the previous slides, the annotations are still there. As a matter of fact, they will remain there until the end of the presentation, at which time you will be prompted to save or erase the annotations. If you choose to save them, they will actually become part of the PowerPoint slides and will show next time you open the file. They can always be removed at a later time if desired.